Welcome back to Cover 2, Hawaii High School Football Weekly. Now, tomorrow night, you can catch the Sea Riders at home against Kaiser in an OIE D1 blue battle, just as the defending champs are also returning to the turf. Last week, Red Raiders extended their winning streak to 17 games, dating back to last season with a win over Wai'anae. Where the team's Wildcat QB a year ago, Kessie Ahoy, continues his transition to the other side of the ball, having already posted two defensive scores in just three games. Um, transitioning over to the defensive side, um, Coach Kiala and Coach Les Kikona and Coach Vias accepted me to the dark side, so <laughs> they've just been teaching me as much as they can. I've been trying to soak up as much as I can. How do you like going over to the dark side, getting to hit people? How's that been? It's been fun. But uh, just trying to learn more uh, technique instead of you know that kind of stuff. But still got a lot of work, a lot of work to do. But um, my uh, teammates and coaches have been helping me a lot, so I'm all right. But there's a lot of work to do still. Headed east to the Big Island, where all games in the BWIF have been postponed due to storms Madeline and Lester. Total of four matchups scheduled will be made up in mid-October. Now our eyes and ears on Hawaii Island, ESPN Radio's Josh Pacheco says that despite teams around the league not playing, they'll instead be making incredible plays around the community. Absolutely right, Rob, and that's one of the great things about BWIF athletics. Even though geographically schools are spread out far and far, the community here is very, very tight. And certainly over the next couple of days, while there won't be any practices, while there won't be any games, some of the first faces that you will see around the school community and around the community in general will be of those football players. Follow the examples of the great coaches uh, that lead these teams in the BWIF. And charging bombs back to Division I where the Surf Riders of Kailua will look to recover from a loss to Farrington two weeks ago, facing winless Nanakuli in the Valley tomorrow night. And as Sam Spangler tells us in Hawaii Strong, surfers have a tenacious teen in the trenches, humbled by life-changing moments in recent years that run the gamut of emotions.